Hello YouTube, this is Shadow Wolf 810 and Miniature Neo, and on this episode of Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops Missions, we are going to do the second mission, uh, it's called Sniper Fi, uh, of course on Veteran, and I'm just going to show you how to do it. And now it takes forever to load. So guys, uh, this series, for those of you who haven't seen it before, is going to be a kind of a series on all the Spec Ops missions and how to do them on veterans. So, just a little time waster right there. Alright, um, my strategy is to take the Claymores up here and plant them around here. Plant a couple by the cars. Now there's more Claymores right there so you'll be able to get more but then after I have three or four there then I start put, I put at least two by this ladder and now basically I just camp up here I don't move around much I just kind of stay right here excuse my bad sniping because I have a camera in front of my face which is limiting my view but um I always recommend having two people to do these because they make it a lot easier to have two people if you're doing this uh, just because you know one more person to shoot people uh, I'll probably get the predators so they can see it Neo was mentioning how after this wave of them we get a predator missile to start taking people out with and that's going to help a lot um when you do get that you're going to oh god you're going to want to only target the jeeps in the when they first come in just because they're going to do the most damage to you and give you the most people to deal with now another thing don't hold on to your desert eagle like i am uh neo uh, took a gun i don't even know what he took he took the heavy machine gun. I usually take the P90 just for shits and giggles, but you can also take the M20, M240, whatever. Be technical about it. That's what Neo has. There's apparently two of them. So, in between rounds, another good thing to do is have one person plant more claymores if they got close to you and are like they've taken them out. Where is he? Oh. Okay. So now, a UAV little laptop thing is going to spawn right here. And now you get to use Predator missiles as soon as the wave starts. So I'm just going to show you sort of where to go. Um, okay, so as you can see, there's the Jeep right there. I always go for it first just to get it out of the way. And a lot of people will be next to it. But you're always going to want to take, like, your Predator missiles take priority over the sniper rifles all the time, so. Like, as you can see, I just took out, like, four or five people, or three people, whatever, from that one Predator missile and just went from being outnumbered to outnumbering other people, so. That's definitely good to have. Uh, another thing is don't waste it on one person. If you can't find them, just wait for them to come out. Because um, if it hasn't recharged when the next round starts, then you guys are kind of get screwed over because you won't be able to hit the jeeps and junk like that. So do try to start it as soon as the round starts, though. And always go for the little, like uh, personnel carriers. Those are definitely important. So when the later rounds come and you get jeeps and personnel carriers, always go for the personnel carriers first. Always aim for the explosive tanks too. That's always a good thing to do. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so like I said, don't make fun of me for my crappy sniping skills as of right now, just because I've got a camera right in front of me. Oh, good job, yeah. But now, like, sometimes you won't be able to hit the guy, but don't worry about it, because time's not a problem here. If it was timed, then go ahead and use the predator, but just save the predators for in between rounds. Woo! That was a good one. Alright, so now, always remember that they'll spawn kind of back through that alleyway and down the street, down that way, where I'm getting lit up from. And don't be dumb like me and forget that your predator's online. That's never good to do. Probably not, you know. Now, um, if you are doing this by yourself and you can't get somebody to join, sometimes uh, when people come, it's good to use uh, flashbangs and grenades like we are showing you right now. Because that will allow you to use your shorter range guns, especially the... Uh, well, like the heavy machine guns and like the short range guns like the P90, now is when you want to use them if you stun them and junk. Alright, so now we got a personnel carrier right here. I don't know, Neil. So this is still a pretty simple mission, especially if you're good with taking out people with predators. Uh, let's see, again, it's always good to have two people, but it's still possible to do it with one person. When you fire your missiles, always go behind the little place where I am, I don't know how to explain it. But, um, that's, like, these little crate things right here. Just, they're, they look like air conditioners. But, um, that's usually the best place to go when you want to fire at those. And, let's see, any other tips? Always keep an eye on your UAV. Because, woo! Claymore kill for the win. But, uh, so, there you go, everybody. That was the... Second mission called Sniper Fi of Spec Ops on Modern Warfare 2. A couple good little tips to beat it if you're having trouble. So that's all for now. This is Shadow Wolf 810 and Miniature Neo. Stay tuned for more Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops missions.